Hi, everybody. All right, remember I told you I was going to do a video about Oshkosh next? Well, I lied. All right, in this video, we're doing the rest of the power systems. And then we're going to hook up a major part of the avionics. And then we're going to get into something really cool, which we'll all uh, get into all those topics, starting with the power. And don't worry, I will do an Oshkosh video, I promise. Just, I got this to do first. So, you saw me first starting off by... Uh, wiring up the return cables from the firewall grounding spot. Uh, there's two cables, goes from the grounding spot to the first battery, then from the first battery to the second. Uh, you just saw me connecting those two wires together with a jam nut so that in the case that the first battery dies or melts or who knows what, the second battery will still get its return. That way I don't have to run two huge cables. Uh, here you see me making a jumper for both the starter contactors uh, because of the fly EFII system I'm using. The master contactor is now just a starter contactor. We have two. One runs off of each battery and we can start the engine from either battery or both, which is a great thing. No, unfortunately, it's not in series, so it's not like it's a 12 volt plane with a 20, 24 volt starter. It's just 12 volts with a metric ton of cranking amps. So. Anyway, uh, after that, all we need to do now is create one big line that goes from each battery to each one of those relays, although the back one's a little obfuscated, it's there, and then one big line to go out to the starter, and that's pretty much where we're going to be until the engine comes on. So, All right, and with that, once that's done, we're going to roll this plane outside. Now, let's talk about the major avionics thing as you're about to see it in a second. So for the last six months, I've been trying to figure out why my GNX 375 unit isn't showing traffic or weather. Everything appears to be going normal. The transponder shows that it's up, squawking 1200, and it's showing that it's uh, actually, you know, receiving a signal or, or re returning a signal. Uh, I've asked the tower, and they're like, yeah, yeah, we see you on ground radar, you're right there. I'm like, great. But for some reason, I'm getting an error in it that says transponder failed, and I'm not getting my ADSB, weather or traffic. So you go through the settings. Well, there's no ADSB failures. ADSB says it's coming in fine. You go into ADSB settings. Well, there are no real ADSB settings. So I start a conversation with Garmin. Like, hey, folks, I got some problems. Can you help? Well, whomever picked up that support email was unfortunately very rude and uh, one of my personal failings is that I don't like to receive help from rude people. Don't know why. It's a personal failing. I am working on it, but that's what it is. So I basically just said, well, F you. I'll figure it out myself. That was six months ago. Today, or right here, right as I'm about to pull this plane out, I figured it out. What If you want to have your weather and traffic, you have to go through the settings and make sure to fill out everything. Now, there are no transponder settings that you really need to worry about, you know. I mean, you got to have your OAT hooked up. You need to have a, a pressure altitude sent from somewhere that's encoded, right, which I get from the ADHARS unit on the back of the G3X. But, for me, the one that I missed is that there's a um, an airplane setup settings that asks, like, oh, what's the length of your aircraft? What's the width? What's the height? Uh, what's your stall speed? Right? All of that. And you would think it would be a trivial thing that you really don't need to enter, and that would only be superfluous and used for, you know, stuff later. And I always intended on setting it up. Well, I was bored, so I set it up. And then, guess what happens? There it is. That's right. Traffic. So now it's all working. No thanks to my own stubbornness and stupidity. When has that, when is it that ever stopped me before? All right, so next thing, uh, now that that's all working, uh, what's the next thing, you? what are you doing here? Well, we are rearranging. That's right, moving all, so the, all the plane parts were in the back, we're moving all those up to the front. Why are we rearranging? Well, uh, during Oshkosh, I was at, actually at a Mike Bush engine seminar when I got an, in, an email from my engine shop. It appears as though the wait is almost over and there will be an engine. And let me tell you, when I got that email, 
I got highly motivated. So, this is the beginning. Uh, in fact, I spent eight hours yesterday working on the plane. It was fantastic. So yeah, we're back in full swing, baby. Uh, first thing we did, of course, like I said, we're rearranging everything. And the reason we're rearranging everything is we need room for stuff like that. So yeah, guess what we're doing in the next video? All kinds of cool stuff. Thank you for joining me. I hope everyone is having a great week. Uh, see you soon.